All right, so in this video, we'll be talking about a couple of things as to why you should download on PC and how to download Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade on PC. There is actually some things that I feel like you could profit from having it on PC, especially when you're kind of being lazy and you don't want to do it manually. Some things in the game, it will actually help you. And I'll give you a quick little guide as to what to do, especially in the new uh, event with the units to use so that you can manually do it in about like maybe four or five days. So you could have a good five days to really ma uh, auto grind it on PC and then just let it go like that. Now, please, if you want to support me, um, download Jujutsu Kaisen with the link down below. All right. That would greatly help me. I feel like Bluestacks works very well. We'll get into the settings very soon. But when you download it, it is going to support me every single time. And I would greatly appreciate it. Um, we have a couple things to talk about in this video, including also the JP anniversary. So we're going to do that. But I wanted to integrate a couple things that kind of go uh, hand in hand and why you should probably download it on, um, on PC. So... Now, let's get into it. We have to first check the settings, and I will show you guys my settings that work for me, but I will also give a couple of recommendations that I've heard about. So usually, low memory performance is the one that people want, just because, especially if your PC can't handle uh, the emulator as much, this will help you. Now, for memory allocation, I put four, but I also think that two can work here. And then here I have four, okay, but I think going a bit lower, going for lower never hurts on this, right? If it doesn't work, go for lower, right? Now, for graphics, the one that I've seen most people use and the one that's worked the best is OpenGL, all right? So for the graphics renderer and interface renderer, I have OpenGL, and I think this is the one you should put. But, you know, in these, right, from what I know, my PC is a bit higher end, so we could obviously have different settings that are needed to um, really get it to be good. And then I have software decoding here. These are the main settings that I usually uh, use for this, all right? So there's really not much else to go in for here, but try out these settings, see how they work for you, and you'll probably be safe, right? Now then, we could also tie this into the events, and I'll talk about how exactly, but one of the main things that I think you would download on PC for is one, because you don't want it to completely drain your phone battery in the day. Two, you like playing on PC like I do, right? Um, and three, also because of these bosses, which allow you to do successive battles, all right? Um, so these successive battles are basically you set up a team and then afterwards they go into it, right? They go into it every single time and you don't got to do nothing, right? So for right now, successive battles for me proves to be decent on um, hard, okay? So we'll do two and we'll just have a little talk while we do it but essentially um here it is now this is a guide that kujira made a year ago related to like what you would use just on auto right so sorry it's a bit bit untracked oh all right perfect so what you would use on auto and this is basically the team right now what you could also do is switch these two for any type of dps you have just because you know you could also put mechamaru there or you could also put yaga because he still is going to debuff or nanami right so um for me personally how it's going to go is i will put here it's going to be the green nanami because i have him three dupes right um but what else you could put i would say that like for free to place quote unquote oh, it's going to be yaga then here for for auto it's going to probably be mecha maru or you could even put momo i guess right um now if you have itadori do put itadori because he's going to be very strong for this and we have to change his to this right and then in the back you want someone who's going to be able to support well enough or do damage when someone dies so at that point um you put like a dps or you could put if you're not using nanami right if you're not using nanami uh, which this slot can be Mechamaru, right? Mechamaru or the base Nanami. Then in the back, it could be the vice versa, right? So really go for either another DPS if you have one, because usually, like, if you're going to have three, great. Now, remember, very soon we're getting two SSR tickets. In two days, we're getting our first SSR ticket that's non redrawable It's just random. And then we're getting another SSR ticket in four days. So two and four days, you're going to get SSR tickets, which is when I'm telling you, you should auto, right? So do keep that in mind. You should have most of these these SSRs. And I will put Nobara in the back. Um, now remember, for bonus points, you have to have um, the recollection bits, which I'll put one there. And then Yaga, mm, we could put it on Nanami, I think. This is a Taijutsu? Okay. I, I think I'm going to put... I'll put this one on him. And then here, we'll uh, go for this. All right. So now... Oh, it didn't work. Did I re-put the... Am I being silly? 
I am being silly. So we're going to put this one and then we'll put this one. All right, there we go. So now we go into this and it's just going to auto for us. And you could technically just leave it for 10 times, right? That's the like beauty of how this goes is that it allows you to essentially do it like 10 times. So we're going to do it once, you'll see. And then we should, we better win. I'm just saying, we better win. Um, and why Yaga works is because even if he does an attack, right, it is a debuff. So keep that in mind. It is a debuff. So you can't really, it's not really going to be bad no matter what, right? Um, and Gojo is just going to be able to ult for us. And then when he ults, well, it's kind of going to be damaged. Now, to be fair, they don't use buff skills on this, which is the very unfortunate part with the auto. And it's kind of cringe when you consider it. But at least Yaga is able to do a debuff, which I guess is good. We should guard break. Yep, there we go. And I mean, after this, we'll win because Gojo's gonna ult. And then Yuji's also gonna ult, so we're gonna see their combo together. Um, love to see it. Alright, now Yuji's got the big Taijutsu boost, and then Gojo's got the big Taijutsu boost. Alright. So, I'd say we're good. We should be able to just kill. I think the audio's a bit loud, so I put it down. I hope that's a little better. Um, Alright. There we go. So then, oh, they even do the combo. There we go. Yep, not really going to matter much. Because there we go. So then afterwards, it would continue, right? So it's a successive battle. It continues until you, well, I think even if you don't succeed. Because remember, okay, and there we go. So we go back in and we'll just exit out. And that's why I do it on PC. Because you can have this running for the 10, 15 that you want to do, right? That's, that's literally it. Click here. All right, end. So then, yeah, now this event is very important to farm, which is the main reason as to why I'm also uh, talking about this for sure. Now, um, next up, the other reason to download on PC is for the JP anniversary. Okay, it might not seem uh, that important, but it uh, low-key though, it's, it's going to be a uh, pretty big thing. So we're going to talk about it, all right? and see what we have so we have a couple things that we know so if you want to play on jp why you would want to play though let me show you so the jp version has a lot more units that global doesn't have and is like a year ahead and since we're about to get the jp anniversary it's kind of going to be the perfect time to start right now if you want to um like we got units like hidden inventory gojo hollow purple which is going to come out only in two months and hidden inventory is like far away yuta which is coming soon toji half anniversary so like you know we got units like that dripped out um itadori a very fun my unit she is also very broken uh, so we got units like that, Ghetto even, right? Uh, this account doesn't have everything, but there is a lot of, lot, a lot of units that um, you are going to want to get that, well, is on JP, but not on Global. So that is one of the things. Now, next up, Anniversary, right? Anniversary is soon. So we have a lot of things to talk about for Anniversary, but this video is going to be a bit of a, like, teaser to my full Annie video. But essentially, on the 17th, there is a stream. Also, they have amazing art, amazing art for this. Um, and they have like a full site essentially for this, like a full, full site and even have the timeline of everything that came out, right? You could see hidden inventory um, and then we got recently this and then it's showing unknown, right? So we're going to see for that. We will see for that. But the important part is a couple things. Number one, which I have to find it. Let me go in media and here it is. Is it this one? Nope. Uh, this one. Nope. The, the other one. It's this one. Okay, so there's going to be new content revealed for the first anniversary. Now, something I did fail to forget, uh, to, to mention, is actually the fact that there's an extra tower game mode already on JP. So it's 50 floors and many people just aren't able to beat it. Like it's a very difficult mode, even with more recent units, which um, I think is something that if people want more difficult content, maybe they could just hop over to JP instead. But that really is up to you because you need a VPN on 24 seven when you download this game. But why you would download it on PC is because, well, you could download it through Kuap and then you put on a VPN. But the important part here is that we're gonna be getting even more content announced for the first anniversary. And that's gonna be more stuff for us to play for on global in the future. Not even just that, people are thinking this is where we're gonna get our first sukuna because we have not gotten a sukuna yet right which is very very crazy to even think about but we do want a sukuna okay so um my guess is that this will be a sukuna and there's going to be new content so this is going to be a pretty fire anniversary but usually for um the half fanny actually for the half anniversary they um released three units right they released three units so they released the toji they released um ghetto and then they released Gojo. Like this was the half Annie, right? Part one was Gojo. Part two was Ghetto. Part three was Toji. So the first anniversary, well, it's the first Annie, right? So you would expect that maybe they'll do, it's very possible they do a Kaido for anniversary because he the story's finishing, right? The story is finishing. 
Oh, I don't know why that's there, but the story is finishing and he seems to be getting his domain. So with that, um, we should maybe, we might get a Kaido for one, for one of the parts, but we could also get a, Go, uh, a Gojo maybe, but probably a Sukuna or a Yuji, right? We could get a lot of things because maybe we'll start going into the Shibuya arc. Well, we have like two units in Shibuya arc already, but you know, once we see first, like how half Annie looks, first Annie should look even better than this. And with new content, I mean, now it would be a good time to start JP if you want to play with more recent units. But if not, you could wait and just watch how JP looks. But yeah, that's basically it. Please download Bluestacks using my link if you want to play on PC. If not, you don't need to do anything. You could just take the little parts of this video that I talked about the guide and the JP anniversary for when I talk about it further in the future. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.